along with the circle check, the driver is required to check the oil level of wheel bearings, especially on his trailer. Now on the truck, we don't have to worry so much about that because the oil level is determined from the differentials of the trucks. You can see a large flange, and so there's nothing for us to check at this point. A mechanic will usually check during uh, maintenance intervals how high the level of oil is in the differentials. That provides protection to the wheel bearings. Uh, in a wheel bearing failure of the, of the drive uh, wheels, there's usually underlying circumstances, whether it be uh, fatigue of the bearing, uh, debris within the oil, uh, some kind of foreign material that got in there, or moisture. And the, the one thing to think about here is that whatever happens in this wheel, because we're connected through a differential gearing and large housing, the oil is shared between this wheel and that wheel. So if I have a bearing failure on this wheel, the debris from this wheel will transfer to that wheel and uh, a unaware technician may just change this bearing out and clean the oil and uh, leave the debris in that wheel and for sure we'll have a reoccurrence. But on the point of checking the oil in the bearings, this truck is equipped with something similar that you'd see on a trailer as well. So this is a hub cap and there is a oil level indicator and so he will either visually look for the oil level to be here or pull the plug stick his finger in and check for the oil so we can see the oil is actually right at the oil level and the oil seems clean and, and is not full of debris this is something that's mandatory by the driver during a circle check especially on trailers the note here is that there's less than a coffee cup of oil in this hub so by the time he notices a leak that probably has spread to the tire at that point there's no oil left in the wheel so if he's driving along and thinks that the he doesn't have to worry about checking the oil in his hubcaps because he'll notice an oil leak the fact is by the time he notices the oil leak his bearings ready to fly off you could lose a wheel or cause a fire due due to overheating of the bearings so um, in the case that uh, we have a wheel off situation trailer loses a set of tandems hits a car uh, you know the circle check is extremely important to recover that document and to uh, analyze any statements from the driver about what he does during his circle check because the oil level again there's less than a coffee cup worth of oil in there and if he was just relying on his expertise or his experience that he's going to see oil because it's leaking by the time he sees the oil it's too late.